Good morning everyone and welcome back to another fabulous eating show mukbang with Nadine and Daryl the Ralphies guys. The Ralphies guys. It is extremely hot already. It is what time in the morning? 8? 8, 8.30? It is 10 to 9. Oh, 10 to 9. <laughs> and we rushed to Tim Hortons. We wanted to do a home uh, mukbang with you guys. It's not obviously not homemade food as you can see by the title. But we wanted to get this mukbang with you guys because it's early in the morning and it's not as hot as what it's going to be today. It's supposed to go up to like 30 again today. And we're dying to do, um, yeah, we have our tea and coffee. <laughs> we're dying to do a lot of homemade mukbang with you guys. Yes. You guys all know that already. We talk about that in all of our videos. But we're trying to get in a couple, home, not homemade, we're trying to get a couple mukbangs in for you guys because you want to see it and we want to do it. So here we are, mm -hmm. um, 9 o'clock on the Bright morning. and early nine o'clock on a morning that we should be sleeping in but this is what we're doing just for you guys just for you okay yeah so we went to tim's mm -hmm. and what did we get daryl um we have a big selection yeah. of everything of the sweets yeah so we picked up um a pack of donut sticks are back here you guys we picked up um two cream cheese pockets they're called this one and this one they're 99 cents each you guys so i just got we just got two of those for five of the donut sticks it was a dollar 99 99 cents each for that but it's little pretty pie. dense with cream cheese i think okay. i think you're gonna like it okay for a dollar you're gonna you better like it <laughs> so we got a plain croissant i have one up here daryl has a cheese croissant we got a 10 pack of timbits that you can see like everywhere assorted we got a half dozen donuts you guys that are like you know, Daryl got three. I got three over here. This um, is the new donut they got out to as well. The blueberry. I'll show you later. Yep. Uh, so we got the half dozen donuts. We got a half dozen cookies. We only put four out because, I mean, you know, you can see that it's like a mountain here already. Mm -hmm. We got two muffins. Um, I picked up a blueberry and chocolate chip. Ironically enough, Daryl got the two blueberry items over there, but that's not going to stay that way. Actually, I got three blueberry because the Timbit is a blueberry. D the, uh, the Can you imagine? Donut is the blueberry and the muffin is the blueberry. And and I did the spread. I know you did. Oh. And so, <laughs> yeah, we got blueberry and ch chocolate chip muffins. And then I got a medium tea, which I must be smoking something real good this morning because I'm already sweating and I got a tea. <laughs> and then Daryl got a coffee, you guys. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh. You're so funny. So that is a rundown of what we got. We spent uh, before tax twenty seven sixty two, after tax twenty eight forty five. Did you get a free coffee? Did we get a free coffee? Because uh, you no. used your Tim Rewards. I used my Tim Rewards, but it's not on. Uh, I should say on the receipt. How many? Oh, we are at three out of seven. Okay. Three. Available rewards. A zero. Nada. <laughs> no. I'm okay. getting there. Yeah, you're getting there. But we're after getting a couple free... Yeah, donuts or beverages or something. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. anyway, we're going to say our grace, and we're going to get into this. Okay. We can't, I kind of look squished in the frame, but I hope not. Uh -huh. It better not be squish. No, we're good. I'll be so sad when I'm editing if it's squish. Guys, bear with us, guys. Yeah, yeah, really. If we're a little bit... If we're like a quarter of an inch out, like... Give us some credit, please. Give us some grace, yeah. So, we're going to say grace? Yeah. Yeah. God bless this food, which now we take and feed our souls for Jesus' sake. Amen. Amen, Lord. Bless it to our bodies. In Jesus' name, we amen. We did get some healthy stuff, I think. Like a muffin's not, not too bad. And a croissant. Healthy stuff? <laughs> croissant. We Where threw, do you see healthy? Everything is deep fried. We should have threw uh, um, a carrot stick in the middle of this and called it healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to try. Well, I'm at, oh, we can do a cheers, but I'm not going to drink yet. No, me either. Because it's Cheers. too hot. Guys, um, if you guys need to know, I'm starting to cut back on my sugar uh, <laughs> in my coffee. You're starting I, to what? What now? I cut back on my sugar in my coffee, okay. but I'm going to eat more sugar in front of me. Yeah, there you go. Pretty that much. all makes sense now. Everything <laughs> in life makes sense now. It all makes sense. Mm. Sarcasm much? No, but usually when I go through the Tim Martin's drive through I used to get a double-double. You know, two sugar. But what'd you get this cream. morning? I get a half sugar and two cream. Oh, you're cut back. You're good. Oh, High big time. Five. High five. Yes. And what did you get in yours? You got one sugar. That's sugar. One a, sugar. A sugar and a green tea, medium. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to go for force? Force? First force. First we're force. Gonna, we're going to do a thumbnail. Looks like someone bit into that one. Okay, so we just won't eat that. Okay. So we're going to do a thumbnail. Okay. 
You're shadowed because of that mic. Oh. No, it needs to come back facing like this, this way. Just, just put it right there. It's good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. So we just finished doing a thumbnail, which took a minute or two. Yeah. <laughs> so we're ready to eat now. We set our grease. Mm -hmm. I want to try this anyway. thing. Okay, let's try that together. Okay. One, Where, two. Yeah, where's yours? Yeah, right here. Okay. One, two, three. Cheers. So this is the cream cheese. The cream cheese pocket, you guys. Cream cheese pocket. Try putting that in your pocket now. I wouldn't put it in my pocket. Not by. Mmm, <laughs> smells good. Cinnamon. Mmm, cinnamon is Are you ready? Good. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Mmm. <gasps> Oh, you know what? It's Boston cream filling or something. Nuh uh. Well, that's false advertisement. One cinnamon cream cheese pocket. Cream cheese is cream cheese, boy. It better not be Boston cream filling. Okay. Mm. No, that can't be. Because the Boston cream filling is like a more of a yellow. Okay. Right. This is real white, like cream cheese. Mm hmm. Mm. Just oozing out there, guys. It kind of tastes like Boston cream. Mm -hmm. But it's not... Yeah, it's more light. Mm -hmm. It's more of a white. You guys know that the Boston cream is like a little tad more yellow. Mm -hmm. unless, unless they're messing with us. And they put the Boston cream, they put a little bit of yellow food coloring. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys... We don't know if that's what's going on. No. In our opinions, okay? Mm -hmm. We can get napkins, do we? We don't need napkins. We're the Ralphies. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to drink this. Wow. I'm already rendering. You? No, I'm pretty good. Not too bad. <coughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty good. Well, thank you for asking, though. You're so funny. <clears throat> Daryl's always so positive, and I'm always not positive. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, muffin, oh. muffin. My tea is good, though. My it is, is good. actually. Yes. Baby, can I have that muffin? Yes, my baby, boba. I want that chocolate chip one, please. Okay, so we're gonna swap the muffins. <sighs> yes. Always fresh at. Tim Hortons. You guys, this is not a sponsored video. No, in no means. No. Unless they would like to reimburse us. <laughs> no, this is not a sponsored video. Er, <clears throat> sponsor us in uh, future videos there. Yeah. Get a hold of us, Tim Hortons. It's not like we don't do every second video with Tim Hortons. Or every third or every fourth. Sink your teeth into that muffin there. Bye bye. Law. Now that is a chocolate chip, and blue, fresh, blueberry muffin. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, hon. Mm -hmm. mm. So we do Tim Hortons like mukbangs with you guys all the time, but we never ever thought to do a video like this, have we? No. Like a big mix variety. To show you guys what Tim Hortons have. Mm -hmm. So we thought this morning. Mm -hmm. As Nadine was spreading it out, I said. Spreading out the food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as Nadine was spreading out the food. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yes, dear. Daryl was drooling. Yes. Had to go get a new shirt. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I said to Nadine, maybe we should do an ASMR video. They want to see homemade. Mm, I know. And we're after doing a few videos ASMR with mm -hmm. more donuts and stuff. Donuts, yeah. Looks pretty good, right? Mmm. So good. So we're not going to eat everything like whole. We're going to take bits and bites of mm. everything so you guys get to see it all. Mm -hmm. You want to put in my muffin? 
Mm. Muffin. No, I'm good. You want some mine? No, my baby. Yes, you do. No. Try. Oh, mm. man. Mm-hmm. Take it off, my baby boo boo. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, good girl. I get the crumbs later. Okay. Mmm. Which do you like better? They're both good. Mm-hmm. Blueberry or chocolate chip is always a little messy. But it's all good. Mmm. Wow. So fresh, man. Aren't they? Mm-hmm. Very fresh, you guys. Their cheese croissants are always delicious. Yep. And they're plain croissants. You want the cheese one? I'll take the no, plain. No, no, no. You want a cheese and I want a plain. You sure? Seriously. This is the plain croissant, you guys. Look. Mm. So it's very, very crispy. I'll show you. Mm. Listen. We should have got them heated. No. Nah. Fuck. Can you guys see that? Can you see it? There you can see it there. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and flaky. Flaky, flaky. And look. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. We're going to have lots of leftovers for a day or two nothing's gonna go to waste you guys know oh if you're, nothing if you've been with us anytime you know that nothing goes to waste we don't take food once we're done recording and chuck it in the garbage that does not happen in our home no never never unless it's actually gone bad mm, that's different that's different mm. <clears throat> excuse me here's my beautiful cre uh cheese croissant Put a cheese on the bottom. I know. Give it a 360 degree turn here. The rotisserie croissant. I thought it. <laughs> it's not the rotisserie chicken. It's the rotisserie <laughs> cheese croissant. I don't know, cheese croissant. Take the first bite. Mm -mm. Come on. Mm -mm. I'm good. Please. I'm good. My baby. No. I love my plain croissant. Mm. Gosh, that would have been perfect for ASMR. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I'll have your leftovers tomorrow. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Oh, so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Just falls to pieces. Look, right? Crispy. But that's the outer. This is the inner. <laughs> mm. So good. And then if we were doing right, we should have got out five o'clock and did this. It was so cold. Mm. It was like, what was it? 15 or 16 degrees. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's what time? It is. Or not what time. Sorry. It's about 22 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. And it's going up today. It feels like 29. <laughs> we're thinking about you guys. We're going to have to invest in a... Winner. What was it you were saying? Invest in. We're thinking we're gonna have to invest in um AC unit mm -hmm. for our place because just to sit here and feel like you're melting mm. in your own flesh is not a fun feeling. Is that oh no? It would be a good investment, mm -hmm. even though we have a just a short season where mm -hmm. we live but that short season in my opinion is so intense oh yeah because we're not we're just not used to it mm -hmm. we've talked about that in other videos you guys we have what eight nine months out of the year where it's like cold well it's doable temperatures and then it goes to like minus it feels like minus 40 lots of times in the winter mm -hmm. so we're used to that you know don't turn on your furnace unless you're freezing mm -hmm. or it's perfect days for cooking like a homemade meal Right? Scarf. Yep. Scarf. They all call it a scarf. We call it. It's a spread of food, you know. Mm -hmm. Or like if we're sitting down watching TV and you're wrapped up in a blanket. That's our yeah. That's our normal 
go to, like temp, not go to. That's our like normal temperatures here in Canada. Mm -hmm. But these temperatures right now, where you're waking up eight o'clock in the morning and you feel like you're sweating already. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hot for us. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> we are not. Ver we come from Newfoundland and. We're not used to real hot temperatures mm. because in Newfoundland, the temperatures, it do get, you can get very, I guess, hot days, but. Well, in the summer, yeah. Yeah. Because we're on the East Coast anyway. Mm -hmm. We still are on the East Coast, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the winter temperatures, is, like I said, that's what we're used to. Where if you want to warm up your home and you don't really want to turn on your furnace and cook the day, mm -hmm. you turn on your oven and you have a big meal. Because mm -hmm. we usually slow cook our meat, like, for the day, mm -hmm. not for the day. People take stuff so literal when you speak, right? <laughs> so we'll have the oven going for like, what? Five or six hours, slow cooking meat. Mm -hmm. And that keeps your home warm all mm -hmm. day. And then when you go to bed nighttime, you got a duvet on your bed, well we do. Mm -hmm. So we're like toasty, cuddly, cuddly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the weather in Newfoundland, like um, May 24 weekend, you probably, more than likely, you can get snow. Oh, we usually do. Yeah, usually do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then probably sometimes in June, sometimes. What? It usually gets a little bit of snow. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah tourists yeah, have come to Newfoundland. We're not in Newfoundland. We're in PEI right now, you guys, but we are from Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. And tourists have come to Newfoundland mm -hmm. over the years in what? July and August? Mm -hmm. And came like prepared for like a dress or like shorts and shirt yeah and we we've had snow and they're like okay nobody told us about this <laughs> mm. and but. then if an iceberg comes in the bay and then if the wind is the right way oh. the wind blowing off the iceberg it's like very cold very cold very because cold. obviously the iceberg came from <laughs> greenland. greenland summer and, mm. and floated down and it's being very rude Right? Listen, you can't help what nature does. <laughs> I know. Right? How is and, that rude? And then in in the jo in the July, um, early August, maybe we call it like Capelin water because we usually get rain, drizzle, and fog, yep. and that's when the Capelin rolls in on the beach. And, mm -hmm. and the summers are not the best, put it that way. But I really do enjoy Newfoundland. I love it there. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. We spot. both do. Yep. Okay. Yep. Enough about Newfoundland, make me homesick. <sighs> Cheers. So, these are the donut sticks, you guys. So, you buy five for $1.99. I've seen on the tag they're $1.99. Mm. And it didn't say each or for how many. And I mm. said, Are they $1.99 each? And she said, No, you get five for $1.99. I said, Well, take one of those, please. And what, what are they called? Donut sticks. Are, they're not the French toast sticks, are they? No. no, 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 it's Burger King. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> one pack of oh. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. If it is, they forgot the maple syrup. That's right, there. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We got the one pack of donut sticks, um, $1.99 for five. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, hon. So, this is. Um, mm. <sighs> <laughs> so, this is. Uh, what are they? Um, cinnamon yeah, sticks. Cinnamon sticks. At Tim Hortons. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. It's mm. like pastry like. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very good. cinnamony. Cinnamony. <laughs> you should have did your rotisserie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cinnamon no. stick. Sorry for the chat. Hmm? I find that there's something like um, chur churros. Oh, yes. I already thought about those things, yeah. It's almost like the churros over at Taco Boys. Mm. Mexican. Only smaller. Mm -hmm. I think these are better. Mm -hmm, they're not bad. They're good. They're good. Mm. At Taco Boys, or mm. what is it you call them? Churros. There's something I do not like about them. What? There's too much sugar or something on them. What is it? I don't well, that's sugar too. I know, but they get the big, um, what's it, granules? Sugar. Okay. And, and just, I just don't like the Taco Boys. You said something negative? I am shocked. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no. It's your opinion. We're allowed to have our opinions. So the churros at Taco Boys. We never ever did those in the video. We should do yes, those. Yes, we did. We done them in the mukbang. Bong. What, a year ago? No. Oh, anyway, we did them before, I guess, Daryl says. Mm -hmm. But they're long. They're like this. Um, they're probably like the same width and everything of the like as these. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit wider or whatever. Wider and longer. Yeah, but they're long. And I find they're okay. But yeah, if you eat too much, it, it kind of gets sick. Like, mm. don't it? But these are cute. This is cool, like, to get a pack of these, like, in the drive-thru when we're going to just for a coffee some evening. Yeah. And you want something sweet, a pack of those, five pack. Mm -hmm. For $1.99, it's a pretty good price. So if you guys are looking for just something quick and simple to go with your coffee, like on your way to work, or if you're a husband and wife, or partner and partner, and you're going out and going for a drive, and you just want, like, a quick coffee or tea, or apple juice, whatever, and you just want something quick and easy as a little snack, these are cute. These are, they're good. Mm. Almost like a phyllo pastry, mm. like right. Oh, gorgeous! Just what I was going to say. Yeah. Right? Gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. I'm going for my honey cruller. Like, hello. <gasps> I need a honey cruller. <clears throat> Guys, this is. I'm going to go for their um, the new blueberry. What's it called? Blueberry, blueberry glazed like, donut or something? Uh, just blueberry donut, I think, or maybe it's blueberry glaze. It's the new donut they have out at Tim Hortons. Guys, yeah. blueberry. Do you want to bite this? Oh uh, no, thanks. Okay, good choice. You want to take. <laughs> Um, a no, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. It's a new donut they have here. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. These honey crullers are just so, like, moist inside. Oh. We should be sponsored because we don't have no The name. blueberry flavor in this is unbelievable. You have to try it. I cannot take. It just bam hits mm -hmm. your taste buds like you would. Mm -hmm. It does. Oh wow! You know what that makes? You know what that reminds me of? Makes me sad about. What my baby boo boo? That donut makes me sad. Wanna know why? Why? Because when we go, we used to go blueberry picking back in Newfoundland, <laughs> and I miss those times you know what i mean mm -hmm. blueberry picking wow don't, don't you we used to um pick parches berries <laughs> which we both missed big time oh goodness gracious daryl's mom sent us oh parches berry jam is it all gone now oh that was gone so like a week after she sent it mm -hmm. <laughs> but she sent us how many bottles um oh two blueberry and, and two, two parches berry, berry. They didn't last, I don't think, two weeks. Seriously, four no. bottles. Four bottles of jam. They may last two weeks, I think. <laughs> That's pushing it, though. Yeah. I think so. Uh -huh. And I still have my can of moose out there. Uh-huh. Which I need to devour. Uh-huh. Real soon. Uh-huh. Are you going to help me devour it? No. <laughs> I'll try and cook them for you. <clears throat> if you want. It's already cooked my baby boo-boo. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're not going to eat moose room temperature. Well, it's canned, hun. Even if it's canned, I can't imagine shaking. Well, you, know, you can. You can heat it up, but it's still the meat is cooked. I understand that it's cooked, my love. Yeah. But, what <laughs> okay, saying, but what I'm saying is when you take it in the can, you're going to sit there and you're going to eat at room temperature. This is the same thing as eating canned tuna or something, room temperature. Mm. For well, me... Keep, people eat like this... Uh, Oh, it's disgusting. Spam and, and uh, what is it? Corned beef. You know, you can sit in the can. Yeah. And you, is that cold? How is it cold when you take it out of the cupboard? Well, it's the same as my moose. Your it's moose in, is not in the fridge. Yeah, it's in the cupboard. Same yeah. place, corned beef. That's but that's my point. If you take it out of the, if you take it out of the cupboard mm -hmm. and you go to just eat it, it's room temperature. For me, that's gross, you guys. I'm sorry. But... Now, we're both used to born and raised on, like, tuna fish sandwiches. Our parents kept that in a cupboard. Yeah. But the thing is, is they put in, like, sometimes they put in, like, raw onion, little bits of raw onion. Oh. And then they put in cold, cold mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. So it kind of brought it up to, like, a colder temperature. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't understand you eating moose that's, like, at room temperature. Because to me, it's the same thing, for example, <clears throat> as taking canned tuna right from the cupboard, opening it, and just eating it. I would be gagging. Some people like to warm it up in the dipper. For tuna again, mm -hmm. I would have to put like mayonnaise with it and make it cooler to be able to get it into me. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. 
But you could eat moose though, like just room temperature, really, of and not, not add nothing to it. No. So a lot of newfies do that. I don't know. Some do. Some uh, open the can or bottle. Yeah. Um, and heat it up in the saucepan or dipper or something, or a little pot just to heat it up. Wow. Um. And then take some buttered white bread or buttered bread. Don't matter if it's white or brown or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just dip, soak up all the juices. Ha ha ha! You and your juices. You like that, don't you? Oh, Nadine. Oh, Daryl. So this is um. It's almost <clears> like <throat> a yellow cake. Would you say yellow cake? I don't know what donut hole that come out of. Oh, it's a sour cream glaze, I think. Okay. Cool, Nadine. Cool. Oh, you should show them this. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you something fun. Here's my mm -hmm. Timbit and my chocolate donut with my chocolate, um, what do you call it? Timbit. Donut hole? Donut hole, yeah. Oh, yeah, I almost made it in a nook shop. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. Mm. Or a man in a, in a yeah. what do you call a thing? What's that called? Um, at the beach? Um, oh, my gosh. Inflatable, whatever you call them. Yeah, you know what we're saying. <laughs> you, you know what we're saying, guys. What is that called? A, little, a, float, uh, a float. A float. A floaty? A yeah, float? a float. A float. A float. Or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Guys, this is probably not the. The same. No. The donut hole that came out of this one because I want a fair hit. <laughs> Maybe it expanded. Yeah, that's true too. Daryl likes the chocolate stuff, you know. <laughs> look, look, look. Could you my baby? Yeah, I'm ready to do a piece of a, um, a cookie, I think. I think. Oh, that's a field uh, Timbit. You love some things. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. It's like strawberry or something. Yep. Is it strawberry? Or cherry. My boy? No, my baby boo boo. Can't smell. Well, you can't smell, but you know what? I whatever. Mmm. What is it? Mm. Cherry? Or strawberry? Lick it. Put your tongue in. Don't take it all. Look at that. Come on, take some more. It's empty. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, okay. I'm joking. I don't know if it's cherry or strawberry. I had too much chocolate in my mouth today. Oh, goodness gracious. Now now we'll never know. Of course we will. <clears throat> what was it, guys? <laughs> oh, it was strawberry. That one was strawberry. Mm. Baby, you try that Timbit hole. Timbit. No, you like some powdered no. things. Here. No. Nope. Oh, oh like, that's one of those. She's red already on the outside. Yeah, but that's from another donut touching it. Oh, the one I just ate touching that one. Yeah, I guess. Wait this, a baby. This is the one that's very airy. You know what I'm saying? No, just, that's filled with something. No, it's not. Dear, I'll bite it, please. It's filled with something. <laughs> I know it is. See? I knew it was filled with something. Oh, so it is? Yes, the powders, the white ones that are filled. Let me lick that one. Okay. That looks like a cherry one. Is it? Is that something in it? A seed? Because if it's a seed, it's a strawberry. What is it? Tell me. Strawberry seeds. Is it? No! My goodness, that's raspberry. Is it? Here, <gasps> want it? No. Come on. No, I want you to have it. Oh. Raspberry. Mm. I had the strawberry one, Daryl. Oh, I so it is. If I knew that up there, I would have got a box of just raspberry mm. and strawberry filled. So you do like the filled ones. You say sometimes you don't like them, but you do. Mm. You do. Raspberry. That's not Newfoundland raspberry, though. Oh, baby, this is a peanut. Uh-oh, he fell apart. Oh. Want to do half and half on this one? Yes, my baby boba. What uh, is it, peanut butter or something? Sugar, just fell. it's just crumbling. It just crumbled. That's a... No, I think it's like a... Peanut like a, butter, white chocolate... Mac is it macadamia? No, sir. It's peanut butter. Look at the back. I smell oh. it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, it is peanut butter. <gasps> that reminds me. I need to make some peanut butter. Oh, yes. Cookies for my husband, you Nadine guys. Nadine makes the best. The best. So crunchy peanuts. 
I'm not into it, but Gerald loves. Nadine makes the best, the best, what? Ginger snaps. Molasses cookies. Peanut butter cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, we'll be here a month of Sundays. What is this? You love making them. Shortbread. That's right. Yes. Mmm. I love making shortbread, you guys. I have a recipe. It's called, um, it's on rice, wine, and dine. Plug to my cooking channel, which I have not loaded into it too long. But it's called whip shortbread. I think it's called heavenly shortbread over on my our cooking channel, rice, wine, and dine. Mm. We'll drop that recipe link. link down below in this video. Listen, if you made shortbread before and you thought it was, you know, okay, whatever. I do have to stand up on what I'm saying about my shortbread because oh. they're good. Some people claim that they're underbaked, whatever you want to call it. But in my opinion, I wouldn't cook, I should make a shortbread, bake a shortbread until it goes too dry. That's not a shortbread then. No. You know what I mean? You want a shortbread that goes in your mouth and it just starts to melt. And I'm telling you, if you follow the directions to my recipe, go look at the comments the comments people like my recipe so mm. go try it if you're looking for a really good whip shortbread mm. thank you for saying that mm -hmm. plug to my cooking channel like it's unbelievable you do like it though oh you have no idea and you know what i don't make that all year long no because listen because the temperatures are like not just that we'd be <clears> walking <throat> around a tad bit bigger than what we are yeah we'd be we just would. like uh Michelin. We have to go through the door sideways to get in. You'd be like the Michelin man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, every time I the Michelin. He's chunky. You know, I think he eats too much of my shortbread. Yeah. And he's real white, and my shortbread's like white, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. But. No, we only make those at Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Mm hmm In the winter. Might make a batch, like, in the fall. Mm -hmm. One batch. Mm hmm Um, and then around Christmas, gotta make them. I like to make a lot of cookies at Christmas time and give them out to people I love. We love. Yeah. 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 We like to share our food, guys. We do. Definitely. And if we could share this with you guys, we would too. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So that was the peanut butter cookie we just had. Especially all you newfies out there watching us. Mm-hmm. Hey, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love all our subscribers. I know we do. But we have a close connection, yes, with the newfies because... We're that from, was yeah. We were, were born from. and raised in New Zealand, yeah. guys. Yeah. So do <clears throat> so. Don't take offense mm -hmm. to anything we say. We love all of our subscribers, and big time, big, big time. time. Yeah. Like, Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. That's right. <sighs> we have so, people following us all over the world. I know we got people from India, Singapore, China, China, Ireland. Australia. Australia. Um, Greece. Greece. Oh, my uh, God. Can Italy. You, can you guys do that in this video? Can Malta. You, yes, Malta. Can you drop down in the comments below where you're watching from? Yes. Yes, we yes, did, yes. We, last time we asked you guys to do that in a mukbang, it was like, I don't know, six months, maybe a year ago, something mm -hmm. like that, in between there. Please tell us where you're watching from. Yeah, yeah. we'd like to know what country you're watching from mm -hmm. because... It's cool to get to learn. We can see it in the analytics and everything, but it's cool to hear from you guys, like what country you're sitting down watching us. That is cool. Mm. We love to hear where you're watching from. Yeah. Yeah. What country, what province. Um, what? We've got people watching from Turkey. Oh, yes. Um, all over Asia. Mm -hmm. U.S., Canada. Yep. Oh, yeah. We want to know where you guys are watching from. Let us know. Newfieville. Yeah. Well, we know the Newfies are watching too. Yep. <laughs> what else do you want, baby? I don't know, my baby boom. I'm gonna have um, the apple. What is it? Apple fritter. Apple fritter. Okay. Okay. You want the blueberry? Um, Timbit. Yeah. Sure. He I came, this he right came out of that one. Yep. Mhm. Mm no, my baby. Oh, it's so good. It does. The blueberries oh. just pop in your mouth like boom. Mm. Mm. Those are too. It looks real good, but for me to have to order it, it would almost be, I hate to say it, but it would almost be the last thing on the menu I would actually go for. What, that fritter? Yeah. Wow. I don't even understand why myself. I don't get it. It's but so soft and so... I think it's where it's so messy on the outside. They're all messy, but that I find is real messy. You want to take a bite? No. Thank you. <laughs> 
Mm. I love to see you eat. Oh my word. I love to see you eat too, my baby. You know, you guys, if you're new to our channel, <laughs> you did not hear me tell this little story. So you guys, we had to stop and get some water because Daryl's running uh, really low on his coffee. Mm -hmm. You almost done your coffee? Yeah. Swish, swish. Yeah, see? Mm. Me, I'm, I'm still half full. Yeah, I had a green tea, you guys. Look. For those of you that don't want to believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a green tea. So the story I was going to let you guys know for the newer viewers, I've said it to our, like, our viewers from over the years but like when we first met yeah. I said to Daryl I said I could just watch you eat I could watch you eat and watch you eat and look at what we're doing today I know <clears throat> I could watch you eat too I just yeah. we both enjoy watching each other we eat. love each other yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no matter what he does no matter what Nadine does no matter what I does I guess mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we both I don't know. We enjoy doing love stuff together. Love each other. Well, duh. And to see the one that you love eat is like a really, really big deal. Turn on. It, it truly is. Ha! Huh. Especially when it's like Mike Hogan. It's like, oh, wow. Mm. And when Daryl makes his rice and I'm loving his rice, I think he likes that too. Mm-hmm. Well, Daryl, definitely. Daryl don't just make rice. He makes lots of good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Veggie rice. <whistles> Sounds good. With cilantro. See, it's so hot. It's so good to eat, but the thought of having to go out in the kitchen right now and cook that. I know. We're going to have to get an AC. We might do that today. Yeah, it's quite possible. We might do that today. See if they're marked down. Mm-hmm. Because it's getting close to end of season. Yeah. Daryl will even go in the store today <clears throat> looking for a coupon. <laughs> Are there any coupons? Not a coupon. It's season? like in Walmart, it's like roll back or whatever you call it. You want to really roll back, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Daryl's like, can you roll it back further? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking. Not a hundred dollars cheaper. Yeah. No, I'm joking. No, I'm Daryl's not too bad, you guys. No. So, what other kind of cookies do we have here now, baby? We tried the peanut butter one. Yep. Chocolate chip. What's this Chocolate one here? chunk, or whatever you call it. What's this one? This one. Chocolate chunk, hun. Is it chocolate chunk? Oh, it is. Mm. Do you want to try that? I'm starting to get so full right now. That's okay. Oh, it's very soft. Oh. You want to? What is this? Chocolate chunk. Chocolate chunk. Yeah. Mm. I feel like there's a bit of peanut butter in there. No. You don't smell peanut butter? Oh, I think it was where it was touching the other peanut butter cookie. Oh, that's what it is, probably. Mmm. <clears throat> Amazing how peanut butter is so potent. Like, yeah. whatever it touches or whatever's around, like, it just oh, like lingers. Mmm. 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 -hmm. My husband lingers, too, and that's in a good way, lot. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys, the story with me and chocolate chips, I'm not a fussy um, chocolate chip cookie person unless it's like um, the milk chocolate chips. This is like, you can tell that this is semi-sweet. Look at it. It's darker, mm -hmm. right? Chocolate chunk. I'm not into the dark chocolate too much. They say chocolate chunk, or... Dark chocolate is more healthier for you. Oh, yeah. And the, like the cocoa or cacao mm. or whatever you want or to Or whatever. Say. Yeah. yeah. It's like, um, yeah, better for you. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll keep my lips shut on that one. Mm -hmm. I like the pure milk chocolate, you guys. This is good, but I can only take it in small doses. Mm. Hey, my baba. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It's okay. So I have my beautiful coffee all gone right now. They're all so funny. I'm going in for another one of these. No one just uh, vibrating because I have the caffeine fix. Should have got you two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in for another one of these. Um, what's it called? Cinema sticks. My friend. It is called a donut stick. Oh, well, cinnamon, so called cinnamon stick. Go talk to Tim's. <laughs> mm. Got to balance it out, guys, with some water. Want some water? It's a lot of sugar, hun. I'm going to drink one more. No, that's the thing, too, you guys <clears throat> need to know. One more time recording. I smell skunk. You smell skunk? Mm hmm. Yeah, smells like it. Skunks are so nasty. <laughs> You're the 
hilarious. What I wanted to tell you guys is when we're done recording something like this or on our ASMR channel, we do like a big dessert video with you guys. When we are done recording, before we even brush our teeth, we go and get a bottle of water or two and just down just it. Just chuck it, try just, to flush us out, guys. Yeah. Like because all the sugar, eating all the sugar, man. And listen to the caffeine talking. <laughs> <laughs> This is like a sugar overload or something. <laughs> You're not going to have more? <laughs> no thanks, I don't think. Are you done? Can't be. I'm going to make taking that about my croissant. Try to balance it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Daryl's trying to balance it. Sugar, you guys. Uh. Starting to get full. Yep. Mm hmm. Well, the good thing is, we have lots of leftovers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. So good. If we had family closer to us right now, we'd drop all this off. Not the stuff we bit off. No, no. But the stuff we didn't touch, just for the thumbnail for you guys. Uh-huh. Like the donuts we haven't bit into and stuff, we would definitely bring to our family members. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. But since they're not living right by us... We're going to have to eat this over a couple more days. It's rough life, isn't it? Rough. So sad. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I know a few of you guys have been requesting for us to do um, an Indian food mukbang. That will be coming real soon. Won't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Indian food. So good. But... The only thing downfall about it is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Where we live. Where we live, like, it's unbelievable expensive. Mm -hmm. I know. One little samosa is like, what is it, three bucks for one? At the Indian restaurant. Mm. Authentic Indian restaurant, yes. Mm. Yep. But we're thinking about going to our farmer's market today mm. or tomorrow. Today? Yeah, because farmer's market's not open on Sundays. Oh, yeah. So we're thinking about going to the farmer's market. And usually to get the samosas, they're a little bit smaller, but they're chinch full of deliciousness. Yeah. And they're what, $2? Is it $2 each? I think so, yeah. I but they're so good. Like the cilantro and the potato mm -hmm. and the batter or whatever it is. Yep. I love their naan. Like, we didn't try their naan at the farmer's market yet. No, not at the farmer's market, but I tried that oh, at the the previous rest mm -hmm. restaurants, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, Indian food is so delicious, but so it's so expensive for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's authentic. Well, yeah. But still. They have the clay ovens at the restaurants here, hey? Like, they're authentic yeah, restaurants, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But their food is so good. Mm-hmm. We need it a lot more, but it's very pricey. Mm -hmm. I love their uh, basmati rice. Isn't it? Yes, basmati rice. Yep. And what else? They are so delicious. Um, the Dirty. thing with uh, chickpeas and all the sort of stuff in the market. The samosa. No, not samosa. It's um, Vanita probably knows. One of, our, one of our subscribers is like a chickpeas and cilantro in a like a like a sauce or something. And you just, I think, maybe you put it on your naan bread. I can't remember now. It's that long. On the time. naan? Yeah. I can't remember. So, Vanita, if you know what I'm talking about, can you write it in um, the comments below and let me know what I'm trying to figure out? How to... I'm not really sure what it's You're called. You're confuffled. I'm uh, confuffled, yeah. Confuffled. <laughs> confuffled. 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 Um, no, but they have, yeah, they have all kinds of nice rice dishes. Mm -hmm. And they have naan, which they have different flavors of naan. Mm -hmm. Naan is like the flat, almost like a tortilla, you guys, but it's more thicker. It's their version of like naan. Mm. You know, naan. Um, but they have like um, they have lamb dishes. I'm not into. I never ever tried lamb, and I don't really want. To I don't try. think I ever tried it either. Your mom Actually. likes lamb. Butter chicken, guys. Butter chicken. Butter chicken is. Oh. Like, is what we usually go for. Mm -hmm. So tender, and the sauce is like delicious. I like the cilantro sauce they make. Oh yeah. 
It's like, ha, 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 ha. Make you, ha, ha, drool. <laughs> yeah. And just to smell the spices, like. As soon as you walk into the authentic restaurant here, yeah, you walk in, and you, as soon as you open the door, that smell just goes, bam. Yeah. Like, but it's not a bad thing. It's no, like, it's a really good thing, yeah. We know what we're eating today. Because <laughs> on YouTube, uh, when we get a time to relax or whatever, we watch uh, street food in India, mm. and all through, like, not only India, like Mexican, Italian, and all like street foods, but we want to visit India someday. Yeah, of course. We watch, uh, Mar what's his name? Mark Weens. Mark Weens, you guys. We'll drop his link for you too. If you don't know about him, you probably do. But if you haven't heard of him and you want to watch like street food, like from pretty much all over the world, because mm -hmm. what's this shirt say all the time? I travel for food? Yeah, something like that, yeah. I think it says I travel for food. Yeah. I think that's what it yeah. should say. I travel for food. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it and is. And he's doing so well with his channel. Mm -hmm. We want to get to that point too, you guys, but YouTube's just not pushing out our videos and we keep saying it and I think we're going to soon sit down and explain what we've had to go through on YouTube for the past almost five years. Um, not sure if Daryl's going to be in that video with me or not. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to be in it? Or uh, not? I'm not sure. I could, yeah, well, and with some days we, we, well, some days he wants to be in it, and then other days he don't really want to be in it, and mm. so I don't know. But like Nadine said, like YouTube is not pushing out our videos. Not sure why, but like we have no like copyright strikes or <laughs> no nope. no infringements or anything like that. Like yeah, I want to touch so much more in a video with you guys. This is not the video, but that's some of the things we have mm -hmm. no copyright strikes. Nothing against our channel, but meanwhile, we see these other channels. We've been on YouTube over four and a half years, you guys. Mm -hmm. Look at the date on the About section on the Ralphies. Mm -hmm. We've been on YouTube for over four and a half years. Um, but meanwhile, we see other channels coming on board with YouTube. 11, yeah. 11 months they've been on YouTube. Um, and they're very successful. Less than a year. Some people's on air a year. Some people's on two years. Some people's on three years. And they're like, there's actual millionaires, you guys. They're just striving, you know. And and we're like been on here four and a half years. We I feel like we're put on the back burner for some yeah, reason. exactly. And I'd like to know why. Mm. I would like to know why. But and anyway. we're trying so hard. Like we're all communicating with you guys. And we're all eating food in front of you guys. We're all doing the same things as everybody else. It's like, it's amazing. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. And we're not negative. We don't believe in being negative. You guys see that? Some people try to leave nasty, mean comments, whatever, and that goes right to spam. It don't even get published anyway for most of you guys to see. But some people, you know, claim that I'm negative or whatever. But if we're doing a food <clears throat> review, you guys, and we're doing an honest review and we paid money for that food, mm. we're supposed to let you know the good and the bad with the review. So yeah. if me or Daryl speak something negative in a video towards the food, that's not us being negative. That's calling it factual information about the product before us. Do you not get that? I mm -hmm. just want to make sure you guys get that. That's not negative. That's calling it... Honest what, review. Right? Like what the food is. Yes, yay or nay. They're not going to lie in. Right? Because that's so our if integrity. You, if you guys classify us pointing out something that <clears throat> we don't feel is right with a certain item or whatever, and we have the right to do it, and you think we're being negative, that's your prerogative. That's not us being negative. Don't even get me going on negativity. That's not negativity. And like we share our videos on social media, on social media. Yep. Yep. And they're still not getting pushed. Out. I don't know. I we know. just try so hard. Maybe we're trying too hard. I don't know. I know that we believe in God's timing. Yeah. And we believe that when God is ready, doors are going to open. Definitely. But there's other people on YouTube that believe in God and stuff. And yeah. like their channels are just flourishing. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, like, we just don't get why YouTube's not pushing out our videos. We don't get it. And we watch, like, um, video creators and stuff, and they ta they ha sometimes have um, YouTubers on that work with YouTube, plus they're a YouTuber themselves. And then one guy was on a couple days ago, and he was going on about, like, you know, you shouldn't upload too often. Now, over the past four and a half years, we didn't upload too often. We uploaded every single day in the beginning. Mm -hmm. The OGs will know what we're talking about. We've uploaded like every day, every day. And then we thought one day, because our channel wasn't growing so quick as what we wanted, we thought, okay, so maybe it's upload. Maybe we'll just slack back and do like every second day or something like that. Mm. And then we tried that and we didn't see much of a change at all. No. Because we're here four and a half years now on YouTube and we're not even at 7,000 subscribers. 
Meanwhile, there's people coming on YouTube right now. I could tell you guys channels' names <clears throat> and be for real with you guys, but then that's me like calling out people. Yeah, I don't do that. Do your own research and you'll see. Yeah. I don't know. In the next video, I might drop channels' names because it's just factual information. Hmm. You know what I mean? Or people can see it for it's just reality. They can check it out for their own. There's certain people that grow on YouTube just bam, bam, bam. If they had to start a channel tomorrow, they would grow flat out, and we're stuck here. I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Hmm. And it is super frustrating. Yeah. Pretty simple. It's frustrating. Mm hmm. But we will keep doing videos. Yeah. No matter what happens. Yep. Yeah. Most definitely. We love doing what we're doing. It's just... How many videos do we have out in total? In total, over 1,400 videos. Mm -hmm. And we know creators, like I said, that have been on YouTube a year or two or so many months. And they're millionaires. And they don't have a 1,000 videos out. Some people so, don't even have mm -hmm. six and 700 videos out. So is that including... 1,400 videos, is that including That's our, our mukbang, ASMR, and Rise Wine yes. and Dine? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's the three channels, guys. Yeah. That's our mukbang, which you're here. Yeah. Our ASMR is just us eating, no talking, or some is whispering. But, mm -hmm. And the other one is Nadine's cooking, cooking show. Channel. Yeah, Rise Wine and Dine. Mm -hmm. So on those three channels, yeah, we have total over 1,400 videos. Yeah. And, it's, like, I feel like YouTube definitely, definitely does not push out people because of, well, obviously seniority. They don't push out nobody because of seniority. They don't push out nobody because hard work and effort. Don't tell me somebody else just coming on the scene. We're all just eating right? in front of the camera. Hard right? work. There's no hard work. You got to eat. Right? Like, if anything, I do more hard work eat than... Eat and communicate, I guess. I know I do a lot more hard work, me and you. And a lot of people comment on our videos down below and say, <clears throat> why isn't YouTube pushing out your videos? They see it. Our yeah. subscribers see it. Yeah. yeah. So, there must be something going on somewhere. There's something going on. But, like, our three channels, um, Rise, Wine, and Dine, our ASMR channel, and this channel, we have no copyright strikes. We're not doing anything wrong. Mm. Our, com our comments are all enabled. We communicate with you guys. We respond to comments flat out. PG rated. PG rated. We don't curse. We don't get on here showing our cracks and yeah. whatever. And if we wanted to say something that we think is cute and fun between us as a married couple, married couple, we um, do it kind of like in code because YouTube don't like certain words being said. They won't monetize videos, whatever. Mm. Um, so we try to keep everything very PG. Right. Yeah. It's just super frustrating. Mm-hmm. And this is part of the reason that I've had a headache and have been been feeling stress. It's frustrating. More more recently because we see so many channels growing. And I mean, listen, don't even get me going. Don't even come at us in the comments that we're jealous. We're not jealous. We're and happy for them. We're so, so happy for these people it's just, that are we're... growing. It's just we feel like, well, if they're grown and YouTube was pushing out their videos, why isn't YouTube pushing out our videos? Yeah, I don't understand. We're all eating food. Yeah. We're all eating food. So somebody deserves to be... Pushed out more than others? Yeah. And we're all just communicating and eating food. There's something think. more deep going on. Yeah. So if you guys really, really wanted to help us, when we say at the end of our videos, if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, sh subscribe, share. When we get to share, can you literally please share our comments? Share, not comments. Our videos. Can you please share our videos with your family and friends and whoever you may know because that might help us... To strive strive and also you guys comments in the comment section you're please feel free to leave more than one comment if you want to because youtube looks at the comment section the interaction if you're if your subscribers are not interacting with each other well that's like that like we don't get a lot of conversation started between the the people commenting on our videos mm -hmm. the only interaction really is us speaking back to our subscribers yeah. mm -hmm. so if you guys you know want to you can chat with each other in the comment section down below and giving the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down it all works for us it helps mm -hmm. us so if you like the video make sure you smash the thumbs up if you don't enjoy the video smash the thumbs down they don't care they just want to see interaction up and down so haters we, included yes haters included <laughs> right we don't really we love all the comments guys yeah we don't mind all the, now we do have some comments to go to spam <laughs> yes that yeah. like you know like a person sh swearing. Fat shaming, any swear words that's all going over to um <clears throat> what do you call it? spam, spam. Mm -hmm. and if we felt to approve it if we felt we wanted to approve it we would approve it 
If not, we just don't approve it. We delete it. So you're sitting down and taking your time to write a paragraph or two and nitpick on one of us or both of us and think that it's going to just be published automatically. Sorry, it doesn't work so easy as that. Mm -hmm. No. So, but yeah, we've sat down. We've had some, um, you know, virtual conversations with some other YouTubers and we followed their success. Not success. We followed their um, uh, points and mm -hmm. strategies, what they felt would help us. We've did everything that we've been ever told to do, including we've heard um, you make sure you record longer videos. Longer videos is going to get your videos pushed out more. Well, if you guys have noticed in the past week or almost two weeks, we've been doing longer, longer video. videos. Um, we see our numbers going up. Um, the, like it's going up a little a little bit mm. but it's not an extreme no maybe it takes a year or two for mm. this to happen for us but it doesn't happen for everybody like that it's just frustrating yeah it's just very frustrating maybe i don't have to do a sit down video maybe this is the video yeah but you do feel the same way i do yeah. like it's stressful it's just yeah. it's like four years over four years being on youtube we all eat food don't even come at with me or us that so and so does something better than you guys do it. Blah blah blah. We're eating food. We're all eating food. Yeah. It doesn't matter what color. It doesn't matter what race. It doesn't matter. That none of that shiznick matters. We all eat food. We all here to entertain. Mm. And it's like some people are living the dream while others um, are still doing what we've been doing four years ago. I know. And it's just frustrating. So if you can empathize and. Um, understand where we're coming from and yeah. if you guys wouldn't mind sharing our videos i'm sure we're going to get the word negative in our comment section today on this video but oh well you know what sometimes you got to sit down and have a conversation like this yeah right it all just can't be positive guys like it's not all better life, roses yeah life is not a bed of roses no sometimes you got to sit down and deal with stuff and we are not negative people we don't believe in being negative no but sometimes like i said in other videos when a situation like this comes up you have to deal with it. Yeah. We try to be so positive as we can. All the time. All the time. But but like I after, if you were doing YouTube four years or four and a half years and you felt like what we're feeling, you probably would have had out a lot more than one video in the past years. Yeah. Letting your subscribers and your family and friends know on YouTube how you feel about mm -hmm. it. It's not drama. This is called factual yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. It's life circumstances like mm -hmm. <coughs> it's not always positive like no it's always a little bit of negative first and if some we, points if we had to wait to get to a hundred thousand subscribers to get a manager to help us grow our channel listen we be in uh beards including me probably gray gray hair. i'm starting at my beard not, not, just a, <laughs> not just a streak or two but we would have gray hair 100 percent we would be 95 years old or more, Daryl, waiting to get a manager I know. at the rate we're going. And YouTube does take away uh, our subs and they are taking away views on us. We have pictures. I have taken, we have taken screenshots on top of screenshots in four and a half years that every time we upload, we lose five to eight subscribers with pretty much every upload. Um, and we... Lost, soon as, we soon, lost views. Yeah. We it is what is it? Three years ago, we lost views. We lost thirty thousand views overnight. You guys, we'll link that video for you guys at the end of this video. So stay, sh make sure you stay to the end to see that video. You'll see it in the thumb. It's one of the thumbnails on the end of the picture, end of the video. Mm -hmm. We lost thirty thousand subscribers overnight. That's like three years ago. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get why this is happening to us. I have no idea. And there's certain words I'll put right here. What I think is going on, I'm not going to say the word in the video because YouTube listens to the words, but they don't really see the words, I don't think. So, yeah. anyway. But we have a feeling there's something going on. But really, like, we have no copyright strikes. There's nothing. We're not in bad standing with YouTube. It's just mm -hmm. we feel in our opinions that we're being held back. Mm -hmm. We're not being pushed out like a lot of other people. And it's sickening. It's sickening. And some of these people that are thriving and thriving, if you go way back on our older videos, they were commenting commenting on our mukbang channel and our ASMR channel. Just so you guys know. Mm hmm Yep. So, on that note, I guess this wraps up another eating show, mukbang with, or mukbang, or mukbang with. 
The Bean and Daryl. The, the Ralphies, Ralphies guys. guys. Yeah. If you it's, enjoyed this video it's, today. It's just sad. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. We could go on and on. Oh, we could go on and on. But this is just the like, tip of the iceberg for you guys. Yeah. So, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this mukbang, <laughs> make sure you show some love and smash the thumbs up button. Or if you didn't like it, smash the thumbs down button. Yes. So, you guys, until next time. Peace. Peace. We're out of here. And stay don't forget to share it with your family, your friends, your co-workers, and whoever in the world you may know. Mm -hmm. Stay beautiful, stay sexy, stay blessed. We love each and every one of you guys. Sorry about the rant today, but it's a YouTube rant that we needed to get out. And you guys need to be aware. And if you're starting your channel on YouTube, things can happen. Go for you, yes. But don't, like, not everybody thrives. Just yeah. put it that way. Yeah. So, it's t t starting a YouTube channel, in my opinion, is... Same thing as gambling, really. It's a yeah. gamble. Yeah. Some are cut to be more successful than others, while others are just back here swimming. Yeah. And swimming <laughs> four and a half years later. We're still swimming. <laughs> yeah, we're still swimming. Anyway. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. Stay sexy. Stay blessed. Yes. Bye. Ciao.